Shohum Bera, Senior Consultant Optometrist from India. Today I am going to tell you about Keratoconus. Let's start it with. Keratoconus is a non-inflammatory eye condition in which the normally round dome set clear window of the eye means cornea, the front surface which is clear and transparent, progressively thin causing a cone-like bulges to develop. This eventually impairs the ability of the eye to focus properly, potential causing poor vision. So who gets keratoconus? Depending on authenticity, keratoconus affects up 1 in 450 people. It is most common, non-causation. It is usually diagnosed in young people at puberty, in their late teens or early 20s. Now what causes keratoconus? The exact cause is unknown. It is believed that genetic and environmental factor play a major role. It is not generally considered an inherited disease, although rarely in some families more than one individual can be affected. So how keratoconus affect our vision? Early stage of keratoconus are detected by our local eye specialist or local optometrist or ophthalmologist. Vision is often unaffected in the very early stage. It is important to remember that keratoconus doesn't cause blindness. If left unchecked, further changes in shape, thinning of the cornea, and in advanced stage, scarring causes loss of transparency of the cornea, which impairs the ability of the eye to focus properly. Even in advanced keratoconus, however, it is usually possible to correct vision with contact lenses. Now, treatment for keratoconus. In the early stage, spectacles or soft contact lens may be used to correct vision as the cornea becomes thinner and steeper. Soft or rigid gas permeable contact lenses are often required to correct vision more adequately in very advanced cases. Where contact lenses fall to improve vision, a corneal transplant may be needed. This is type of intervention is rare however since the introduction of corneal cross-linking cxl or cxl is a relatively new treatment that can stop the disease getting worse it is effective in over 94 percent of the patient with a single 30 minute outpatient procedure what happened if you refer to this condition keratoconus doesn't require urgent referral since change caused by the condition usually takes several months or even years to develop. Because of this, we monitor those with the condition and invite them back to repeat assessment for up to five years for their initial visit. Each time you attend this clinic, we will perform many of the same tests including vision, refraction, corneal scan. We will compare this result with those from your previous, previous visit. If any of these result so deterioration, we will discuss with you whether CXL is required or not. Corneal cross-linking the procedure. CXL is only suitable where the corneal shape is continue to, continuing to deteriorate. This will be detected at your appointments beyond a certain stage, however, if the cornea is too thin, it could be unsafe to perform the procedure. Usually in people in their late 30s, the cornea naturally stiffens and CXL is generally not required. Below this age, the cornea is more flexible and disease flexible and disease prognosis and overseeing vision are more likely, although non-certain to occur. 